Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know. It's time for some more of the Arkham Megalo. Let's push this button and see where we're at. Alrighty. Finally, we have a screen that is reminiscent of progress. Um, so yeah, this is where we're at right now. Uh, right now we've got um, a few games that can give us progress. Uh, one of which I forgot to mark. And that's where we're going to be starting today. Uh, let's see, update state. And, uh, oh, right, and do it. There we go. So, last time we finished a short hike. Uh, there are still some checks left in it, and uh, that's all right. We're, uh, if we need them, we'll go get them. Um, and you'll notice a star next to total time. That means I have a release token. Um, so yes, now I have the option of releasing any one game, provided, of course, that I have finished it. Um, I'm holding on to it for now, because there's not a whole lot left in a short hike, and also, like, it's just kind of fun to run around that world, so I'm not going to worry about worry about it too much. Um, so games that have progress right now, there is Merita Meritus Sky Den. We have one side key, and we can go fight a boss. Uh, Cross Code still has a fair amount of checks, uh, especially in um, Autumn's Fall. Um, Final Fantasy XIV has a uh, South, was it Southern Lanasea? There's one map that uh, we've opened up that we can do the uh, fates in, as well as a bunch of dungeons. And most importantly, Kirby and the Forgotten Land will be our starting point. We have gained enough Waddle Dees uh, to go fight the next boss and go on to the, I believe, the final world. And there's some pretty cool stuff in that world. So, um, let's press some buttons and uh, off we go. Let's see. Playing this. There. Okay. We're, we're on our way. We bring up the... Manual client. Well, let's get started. Um, mostly been sticking with um, cutter. Kind of been my go to for this entire time, but I think we have sword now. Yeah, we do. So we have uh, ice up to level three, which I think ice is only. Oh, but we don't have the. Um... We don't have the, the blueprint for level three, so we can't do that right now. Uh, we have cutter to level two, fire to level one, tornado to level one. Crash level 1, Drill level 2, Hammer level 1, Ranger level 2, and I think we can get that level up. Where's Ranger? Let's see. So let's level that up. Sleep level one, which sure. Um, bomb level two, so we can upgrade bomb. Hi. 
got Chain Bomb. Also, I just I just remembered that I didn't post my stream to anywhere, but like I've been grappling with technical difficulties. Whatever. It's, I have enough viewers currently. It's fine. Uh, and sword, we finally have to level one. Um, that's gonna hold on to bomb. I don't remember this next boss. But well, let's go fight it. Well, that's not the next boss. Here we are, a collector in the Sleepless Valley. Okay, so this is the silly deal fight, got it. Um, so we can clear everything in here. Uh, so alongside the, um, the two minutes and no damage, uh, we've got hit three of Silly Dillo's handmade Kirby's uh, defeat Silly Dillo with the hammer ability. And I'm not gonna worry too much about um, getting hammer for this. Um, The important thing is just to clear this boss so we can move on to the next world, because there's going to be a lot of stuff in that next world. Uh, this is where we get Blizzard Ice Blueprint, and of course the stage clear and the three water of these. Let's go! We've got hammer, bomb, and needle. Oh, yeah, hold on to bomb. You ever get the feeling you're not wanted? There is Alphalin. Wait, that's not awful. Cinnadillo. Kirby's taken care of. Uh, the big thing with the uh, chain bomb, the more of them that you get chained up, the stronger the bomb. So much for not taking damage.
Yeah, it's pretty much a requirement that you know how to dodge in order to, uh... to, uh, get a uh, hitless run for this, because, like... Oh, boy. I disagree with that game. supposed to do this with hammer. Ah! Beg! Nope. Okay. Ah, oh boy. That sure was a fight. I, uh... Well, I got the handmade Kirby's for sure. Also, there's the blueprint. Uh, Tremor engine, which I believe is a, um, a trade item. Now, let's see what we got here. Ram's Golden Axe. I don't know if I'm... I don't think I've unlocked Bram yet. Uh, 5 HP. A Wobbly D. And for the three Silly Dills, uh... Hero's plate, I guess. That print is white, not blue. What does that mean? Oh. Okay, yeah. I, I gotcha, I gotcha. My, my brain is a little frazzled after having to diagnosed for 15 minutes. And now we can pay for Gacha. Aren't you excited? We can also evolve Ice, which is more legitimately exciting. Let's go do that now. Is there anything in Waddle D Town? Oh, present uh, present codes at Waddle D Liveries. So let's upgrade this. And now we shall have a level three ability. Which I'm probably not going to use a whole lot, but we have it. Blizzard Ice. Da -da -da. Exciting. But what's also exciting is... It's only level 1. But we have Sword now. Okay, um...
be present codes hidden in town and some through online announcements. Alright. I don't have one on hand, but uh, first password. Apparently, Kirby knows how to write. Okay, let's see. I R S T T E A D O S W O R D Go. I don't know what the intention is with this check, but I'm guessing that as long as I have redeemed at least one code at Waddle Deliveries, that's good enough. And that is an ether for um, Linnaeus. And also, a hundred star points. All right. And so I think this is the final world. We're still not going to be able to finish Kirby until we get enough level Ds to fight the final boss. But uh, we're getting pretty close. So there is a hint, um, Nifa's Moon Pearl is at Gathering of the Beast Council, uh, which is a few levels into this, so we're going to have to start clearing. But uh, we are good to get started, enter the Fiery Forbidden Lands. Uh, four Hidden Waldees, defeat two Lookout Awoofies, find the Secret Passage, use water to destroy seven Falling Lava something that's cut off, uh, four capsules to get here, and the stage clear, and three Hidden Waldees, three Waldees at the end. hidden path somewhere. It ain't here. That's the um, the lookout Awoofy that I need to uh, to get. Unfortunately, I think the only way that I can actually get to them is with um... well, well, here we are. Let's actually take it out. There we go. That's one. I didn't start an hour early, Jewel. Just y'all go to a uh, y'all finish daylight saving um, earlier than we do. Anyway, Jewel. Okay, uh, Caps on Swim, uh, Sydney Island, Culey's Assassin Strike.
But it's it's all right, Jewel, because uh, you you missed all of the um, super fun technical difficulties at the start of the stream. And by super fun, I mean please help me. Okay, that's the two Lokata Woofies, and that's a rare stone. I do hope that we can get rid of daylight saving time shenanigans at some point because it's not really productive for anything. Another rare stone. Yeah, at this point, uh, aside from treasure roads, there should no longer be any checks in levels that I can't get. Because I'm pretty sure we got um, all of the abilities now. Hmm. There looks like there should be something in it, but not as far as I can tell. Maybe it's like. Just be aware that this is a thing that can happen. Oh, okay, you're gonna respawn, aren't you? Oh, you are. The flask shard for our favorite fox. Our favorite video game fox. It's not to say anything bad about Fo about Fox McCloud, but uh, quite frankly, he's not as adorable as our beloved Rune Seeker. Secret passage. Uh, plus one attack for Astalon. I agree. Hydration achieved. When does daylight saving time end um, for us anyway? I think it's like in two weeks or something. Okay, and that is another capsule. A capsule chest at end of secret passage. That's a golden feather. Not not that we need those anymore, but hey. If I need to go back into um, a short hike for uh, any additional checks, Golden Feather is going to be useful for that. Ow. Ah! No! Later, nerd.
Capsule stairs behind buffer horns. It's a chef sandwich. The sandwich made out of chefs. Final was hated more. November 3rd, so it's it's this coming weekend, gotta. Oops. Get that last one! No! I hope that wasn't anything. It probably was something. See what's gonna happen. Yeah. We get the two bottom ones first. And get this one. And there we go. Number three is five levels of fishing. <laughs> or five levels of fishing, I suppose. And there's our last capsule. The missile tank for Sims. Go fish. It is an option to um kind of interrupted myself there, but uh, we are trying to destroy these uh, these lava balls. Okay, we can stop freezing the scene. Got them all. Wait, did I miss? Oh, no, there we go. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Plasma geyser for time soon. Alright. And our last hidden wall D. What I was trying to say is, it is, like, it is in the options for Final Fantasy XIV that you have to do fishing as well. I have that turned off. But, uh, you definitely can have to fish. And guess what, guys? We have cleared Enter the Fiery Forbidden Lands completely. Every single check. We get max HP, a Waddle Dee, and five levels of ninja. Kirby. Neil. A light bulb mouth Kirby. And a water tank. Oh right, we don't have dome mouth yet. So we don't have access to every check, but damn near at this point. We have 12 mouthful modes. I think the only one that I might be missing might be Dome Mouth. Yeah, let's go check these out. Nice homing bomb, don't have that yet. There's a wild hammer, don't have that yet. Bearing some uh, hidden. Oops. And 
this treasure road is. Carmouth. We got that. And treasure is. Edgar Carmouth. And there's also a um another uh treasure road that is available that is a uh, normal treasure. So Bilbulus. Okay, got all five. I'm sorry? Okay, lap two. Let's go. Well, that's unfortunate. Eh. I was pressing the button. Why wasn't it going? Oh, god damn. Start over. Start over. Thank you. Okay, that lap one I feel like it went a lot better this time. And for lap two. Yeah, I know. Not a whole lot of time for this one. There's also way more shots those this time. Oh no, god. Mm -hmm. You really gotta do this like perfectly. You don't have any time to waste. Like if you if you miss that jump, like the uh, the star shard at the at the end of that jump, that's it. You gotta do this in two laps. I missed the ramp, but that's okay. Okay, that went a lot better. There we go. I don't think that could have gone any better. Like, maybe, like, refine my movements a little bit, but we hit the target time, so hey. No complaints there. And that's a circuit refill. Alright. Make things a little bit uh, easier for virtue when we get back to that. Leads to normal. I gotta do this without an ability or mouthful mode.
That's kind of right, honestly. Definitely not the optimal way of doing it, but uh, that's how I ended up doing it. Oh, that's not great. It is, of course, not necessary to hit the target times. Nice one, you do. Oh, oh, geez, two of them. Hey, J Pop, how you doing? I'm trying not to die. running out of time, but it doesn't matter. Max, max HP plus one. All right, well, you don't know until you know. Uh, our next stage is going to be Conquer the Infernal Road, and there is actually a check that I cannot get. Can I get the motivation to run? I, I hear you on that one. Um, I do wish that I would get myself to do more physical activity. Uh, conquer the Inferno Road. Four out of five Wobble Dees I can get. Steal two of the beast's meaty meals. Make all the windmill switches spin. Use Crash to defeat Rob Frosty. Uh, there is a blueprint for a Space Ranger. There are four capsules and the stage clear in three Wobble Dees. Let's go! I want that. Gamer's prerogative. I want that. There's one of the meeting meals. Gotta watch out to see if uh, if an enemy with an ability will respawn. Because if it does, that means you need that ability for something. I hear Wobble Dee. Ah. Oh, there it is. Hello. 
form of mist. Yeah, that that will give me a couple of things in uh, Symphony of the Night, including those two checks that have been taunting me this entire time. Ah. I still have no idea how you're supposed to get those without the mist. Okay, so that's the crash that I need to fight. Um, Wild Frosty is probably coming up. A capsule near a ladder leading to Wall Frosty. That's a treasure bumper. Oh, okay, that was the other meaty meal. Let's mark that done. It's a Waldy. And I didn't defeat him. I don't know. If, I think it was to defeat him with uh, with Crash. Yeah, use Crash to defeat Paul Frosty. Let's uh, let's see if that counts. No, it has to be the the killing blow. So that uh, didn't unlock. Oh, Jewel behave. Second one, five levels of Dark Knight. Oh, why do you keep saying Dark Mage? Dark Knight. <laughs> J-Pop, why are you trying to, to hack the stream? That's rude. Capsule under bridge before lava path. Star coins. Trying to fix the stream. What's wrong with the stream? Why does it mean fixing? I thought I thought that I had fixed the stream. Nope. Oh. jump up. Fortunately, Cup Brew fixes me right up. Copy one, sorry. This looks... interesting. I don't know if there's something to this or not. Oh wait! There's this bridge here. Aha! I knew there had to be a cone somewhere. Yep. Well, that was rude. Anyway, here's the thing. This is gonna be timed, isn't it? It is gonna be timed and it requires dome. I do not have Dome Mouthful currently, so that one will have to stay behind. <laughs> that one, however, will give me three fruit salads. Oh. Yeah, I don't 
I'm not in that much of a need of coins. Gotta run for health. Gotta run for your life. Which I mean, I suppose health is part of your life. Have a good run. Um, I'm of course going to be going for a while still, so if you feel like joining in after your run, then you are of course welcome to do so. See what's over on yonder side. Kirby, point in the correct direction, please. There we go. And that unlocks this platform. There are still more. Oh, okay. I had I have to jump into the boat. Got it. Sometimes you get something for collecting all of those things. And back here. Oh, there we go. That's probably the last one. It sure is. Uh, Capsule windmill behind goal and uh, we call the windmill spin and effigy in a flaming button. I apparently have missed one capsule. That's okay. Trying to jump out. There we go. You see that target over there, though. Huh? Which is really awkward to aim for. There we go. Ooh. Space Ranger blueprint. Oh no! Yikes, that's not great. And yeah, the last one being used Crash to defeat Wall Frosty. And uh, we also missed a capsule, but let's see what we'll get from the bottle of these. A shiny lock. 20 monies. 20 rupees. And 20 monies and 20 other monies. Needless. Kirby Burger. Hey, why would a Kirby Burger exist in this world?
And next up is the burning, churning power plant. Oh, and we also have... This one? Yeah, we don't have to. The burning turning power plant, 20 checks, all of them obtainable, 5 raw these infiltrate the control room, perk up with 3 cups of coffee, don't get squished, uh, the blueprint for deep sleep, um, 6 capsules, a hell room, and the stage clear and three bodies. I don't know. I never know, like, if I know about the HAL rooms. Like, I don't know if I've seen this one. And the Hal Room also has two capsules in it. So definitely in our favor. To find that. Take us here. Is there anything back here? They're better safe than sorry. They like sticking uh, secrets in various places. First cup of coffee. I'll raise by a cup of coffee. Yikes. But uh, no. Well. Let's try that again. Try without getting squished. Three, three, three traps in one. There was a hammer on the way, I should probably grab that. Also fire, but like there's also bomb for that matter. All the stars are here. Refuses to get it. Unfortunately, not being particularly useful. Infiltrate the control room and get the uh, capsule therein. 
So if I'm to believe this, the HAL room should be coming up shortly. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if the HAL room is through here somewhere. I figured I'd try. Seems like a thing that uh, that they would do. I'm gonna try finding it myself first and uh, if I'm not able to find it then I'll look it up. I don't think I remember seeing the power in this uh, power. Glad that the star shards don't get squished themselves. You don't have to like rush to get them or anything. Oh. You respawn. That means I need you. Oh, there's the last one. What's that? Number two, it is a seashell. Ah! It's like I'm on hyper alert now, knowing that there's a uh, a hell room somewhere nearby that I have probably missed actually. Hmm. And if you might think, how do I get through that? Well, like that. There's a coin over there. And there's the deep sea blueprint from another Waddle Dee. I'm definitely gonna need those Waddle Dees to uh, open up the boss of this world. Now let's see what I can do over here. See what they want me to do. Put this in the 
position that I want. That's got to be the best I can do. This is kind of a weird one. And then I have to real quick get up here and there we go. And that is number three. Five levels of Dark Knight. Dark Knight's starting to catch up a little bit here. Still would rather see some uh, some Reaper because uh that is the one that I have the most levels on. There's our last cup of coffee. And the capsule on top of white crates. I didn't look at what is in there because I'm still kind of in mid peril. Plus five. Oh, and I got the three cups of coffee for another one of Good old hole in the wall. Full post meal for Olia. And that's the stage. We did not get squished. Well, that's worth a sand bottle. There we go. And three bombs. A life vessel and some star coins. And all that I'm missing is um, the howl room, and I kind of want to go and find that. It's not quite 100%, it's 100% it's of the Waddle Dees hidden in that stage, but. Still gotta find the hell room. Let's see. How to find the hell room. And the one in burning churning power plant. Let's see the hell room. Okay. Get back in there. I was right about my uh, my hunch about the control room.
Okay. You do not need to interact with anything in the control room. Simply enter and exit the room. So I'm gonna get this clear. Head back to the start of the stage. Actually, that might make things a little tricky. Also, these mash are definitely going faster. Oh. I didn't got squished, but that's okay. Oh yeah, now there's a ladder over here. How are you supposed to figure this out? Like, was there some sort of visual hint? I feel like this is something that, like, these kinds, of, these kinds of things are things that there should be some hint in game to figure it out. Yeah, I've definitely never been here. Ew. A. H. Wait, man. This isn't a howl room. This is a law room. I've been got. Soul next to crash. And capsule destroy crates. Oh, that's a memory of distant land. Or distant world. So 20 monies. And another me We are one memory away from finishing Final Fantasy XIV. And that's where I'm gonna be using the release token. I'm pretty sure it's one away anyway. And I will double check once I'm done with this here. I'm gonna call this good. It says it will not be saved, but also, like, finding a HAL room doesn't get saved. Okay, and um, also there's another, uh, I think there was another treasure room that uh, popped up, right? I was kind of looking away while it happened. Code mouth, alright, yeah, we can do that. Interesting spatial puzzle, this one. Yeah, 
It's not too much of a puzzle, but it's a little puzzle. Like, Tim Sweeney has called things puzzles that definitely will not. So I'm allowed to call this a puzzle. There we go. Five levels of white mage, which at this point probably won't be particularly um particularly useful. You wanted ice cream, so you door dash it. Small mistake. Ice cream is a mistake. Goodness. Okay. Door dash. Okay. Yeah, I, I can understand that. Gathering of the Beast Council cannot be cleared, and I don't know why. What check do I need? I need the third hidden Waddle Dee check. And I can only get the first two! Why can't I clear this stage? Alright, well, let's take a look at what we can get. That's the only thing that I can think of. Though. Maybe I need Dome Life. Uh, so, currently can get two hidden Waldees. Venture deep into the secret passage, defeat Silly Dillo in a minute and a half, capsule at end of secret passage, capsule before Silly Dillo. Like I said, this stage currently cannot be cleared and we're gonna go in and find out why. But yes, this is my favorite part of any video game, the mandatory boss rush. Ranger, we got Hammer, we got Ice, and we got Sword. Unfortunately, these bosses are a little easier. Oh good, this is timed. Okay, that wasn't too bad, actually. Tincture. And I know I can't save these, but I'm gonna redeem them anyway, because, like, if they, if they didn't mean for a stage that cannot be cleared to still uh, send checks, then they would make the entire stage uh, out of logic. Alright, so what do we got? We got uh, my current ranger, we got cutter, drill, fire, and meter. Oh, that's 
Uy. Castle of the Four Silly Dillo. Sounds about right. Top of the sun. So I've already missed the secret passage. I think that was pretty quick. Was it less than a minute and a half? Yes, it was. That's a lot of do. I'll do number two, five levels of fish. Why? You don't have pipe mouth. Where is it? <sighs> the Wanderer's Palace. Okay. Then I think the thing to do <laughs> destroys my ears. Um, I can absolutely just pause the game here. Um, it is going to be a little bit of a of a slog to have to um, open up another manual client to uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Go run the Wanderer's Palace real quick and then come back to the stage and finish it. But that's something that we can do, and it's something that will definitely be a benefit, because um, that, like, the Moon Pearl is in the stage. That's going to unlock um, a fair amount of stuff. All, almost everything, I think, in A Link to the Past. Um, given that, I am, I think I'm going to go ahead and take a break. Yeah, we're going to go on break right now. Uh, and I didn't hear the park sound, so hopefully everything is, there we go, check th thread is parking. Okay. So it's a bit early for a break. But we're going to do it, and uh, we're going to come back to this uh, after running the Wanderer's Palace on hard. So anyway, y'all can take a minute, uh, get something to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and in about 10 to 15 minutes, we shall boot up Final Fantasy XIV just for a moment and go clear the Wanderer's Palace. I... I'm 99% sure that it's in logic. Yeah, it is, because we did Wanderer's Palace Normal. So it's, if Wanderer's Palace Normal is in logic, then hard is too. Anyway. Um, yeah. So we're going to go take a break. I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> 